Hi guys, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you guys with um, Thursday morning chit chat. It's April the 7th. It is day 98 of Fit to Love 100 Day Challenge. We are moving on. This week is moving on in and moved on out. Yeah, we're almost to Friday. So, yeah. So, I'm glad of that. Um, doing okay this morning. I feel a little drogging. This is what it feels like coming off a drunk or a high. I hate when I have to take those muscle relaxants. But last night, I was catching severe cramps. And... I don't know if it's because I was TMI, okay? Urinating, voiding, whatever you want to call it, okay? A whole lot yesterday, like more than usual than I usually do. And it was like everything was flushing out of this system yesterday, I guess. I don't know. But um, I don't know if that has something to do with it because I do take a diuretic pill. And... Um, they call it potassium sparing, which means that when I release that fluid, the potassium is going with it too. So, usually that will cause cramping if you don't supplement it with some type of potassium supplement, which I'm not understanding that as well. Because as many bananas as I eat, bananas are high in potassium. And I eat a lot of bananas. And, yeah. So not too sure why that was going, but I had severe cramps. I tried to walk them out. That didn't work. So I had to finally like take the Scalax and something I hate taking. Um, I took that. That still didn't seem to work. I went and got me some squirts of mustard because the old time remedy is mustard is um, a good remedy for cramps in case you're ever having cramps. Mustard. Dry mustard. And some of the mustard just used to help and knock it on out. I don't know why I didn't try to get mustard first and try it. But I guess because I was lazy and I didn't want to leave out of the room and I could just get the scalaxin from the room. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's what happened. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. So, now this morning I'm feeling all dry and draggy. And then it had nerve to be raining this morning. So, that's like a double whammy. Dry, draggy, and it's raining. So, yeah. But anyway, I have decided that I'm going to kind of, I guess, chill. Chill. <laughs> On social media for a little bit. Um, not going to do so many videos. And I know I've been doing a lot of videos now since I've been on the Weight Watchers and doing the morning chit chats and doing the. Um, couponing videos and all of that. I think I'm going to pull back a little bit and try to revamp my channel. Um, try to do a new thing to kind of make it interesting because I just feel like my channel is just fizzled out. I just feel like to me not that I'm not appreciative of everybody who's here who watch my videos. I'm not saying that. Please don't take it the wrong way. I just feel like it's not growing to or growing like I thought it should grow and you know I guess maybe I'm still in the old school of YouTubing and YouTube has moved it's evolved to a whole a little bit new level of YouTubing but it's like I think a lot of people are um, switching over to other medias like Periscope and I did I have downloaded Periscope kind of been playing around with it, kind of know how it works now. Have watched a few people Periscope, but the only thing about Periscope is it is the right now, right then. A lot of people do not leave their videos up, so you can't say, okay, I'll go back and watch it later like you do on YouTube. Mm -mm. It's like, if they are ones that delete theirs, they delete it instantly. So there's something going on and you can't look at it right then. You know, you kind of like, um, SOL, y'all know what I mean, yeah, so yeah, so yeah, you're out of luck with that one, so, so yeah, so that's one thing to be mindful of when you're thinking about doing things, and I don't know what Periscope, you have to have followers, so you can see it, I'm like, okay, I ain't got no followers right now, but, um, 
I'm like, I don't really have any followers right now, but um, I'm, I guess when I get ready to announce, hey, I'm on Periscope, somebody will come and talk with me. <laughs> but I like it because it's right now. You can ask questions if you choose to ask questions. Um, it's like the, 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 the people, if you got a lot of people in the room, the typing be going really, really fast. So... I said, I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. I seen that on some people's video when they have a lot of people in the room. It's going so fast, I can hardly read what they're saying. But, yeah. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Because I feel like sometimes I might... I don't want to overkill something. And I was blogging my foods. I didn't do it today of what I ate today. But I was blogging it kind of for my benefit. I can kind of look back and see, okay, this is what I ate. This is what I was eating today. And, you know, I done really well this week. And I saw the pounds come off. Or if I'm at one another week and it's not so good of a week, if I didn't see pounds coming off, um, then maybe I need to go back and revamp what I was doing for that week and kind of compare it with the last week. But, yeah, I was kind of doing a job a journaling because it's always good to have something to look back on so I hope I'm not overkilling you guys with that um so I thought about doing a maybe and the only thing is I need to get a new phone because my phone don't have much memory so I can't save the videos and do them all at the end of the week because my phone just sucks when it comes to the memory department it's hardly any memory so yeah so I um So yeah, so I'm going to um, think about it. I checked it out on Sunday, but then I decided to wait a little bit until we see kind of where we're at, you know, with getting things done. Um, so, so yeah, but we'll see. And then maybe what I thought about doing was just like blogging what I ate for the week. Let it be like a week-long blog. And um, try it that way. And then maybe doing Monday morning weigh-in. And maybe um, a video once during the week. Checking in. Hey, how you doing? This is me. I'm doing fine. Blah, blah, blah. This is what's been going on for the week. Maybe doing that. Or, um, and if I do a haul that's worthy of showing, I can I will definitely do my couponing hauls um, if it's worth doing. So yeah, it's just I just think I need to take a little break right now, and I don't know if it's just me because I don't, I feel like woe is me today. I, I I just I just feel woe is me right now. So um, and you know sometimes we get that way. And a lot of times I get that way when it's time for a visitor to come. Visitors never showed up last month. I think I'm going through the change. Yay, God, please let that be so. Let it be me. <laughs> yes, let it be me, please. Oh, oh my God. Now, that's the one part about being a woman that I am not... I'm not liking too much, and I need to talk with little Miss Eve, but I don't think she's supposed to, well, I don't know, she caused the pain. <laughs> I need to speak with Miss Eve for a little bit, and say, are you happy now? <laughs> it was like my grandma, oh my God, I don't know if I ever told this story, my grandma was, she was never diagnosed, but, I don't know, she I think she was never diagnosed. I think she had ADDH is what I think. And I think because she was never diagnosed and she had ADDH, I think they kind of labeled her as special needs or slow or mildly mentally retarded or disabled. I think that, but my grandma had a lot of sense now. I'm going to tell you, she had a lot of sense. And, but she could never live on her own, I think, because they pretty much didn't allow her to do anything because back in the day, you know, when you had a special needs child, you just kind of, yeah. But I really think it was ADDH. I really do. But I don't know. Anyway, 
<laughs> my sister was cleaning up and she was washing clothes. So she told my grandma, we used to call her Miss Elsie. She said, Miss Elsie, go get your clothes. My grandma just kept sitting there watching TV because she wanted to watch TV. She wants stuff that messed my sister with dog. She said, go get your clothes so I can wash them, Miss Elsie. Grandma kept sitting <laughs> My sister said again, my grandma jumped up. She went, got her clothes. She went, took them clothes and threw them in the floor by my sister's bed. And was like, are you happy now? <laughs> oh, God, my grandma was a trip. She was like, are you happy now? Oh, Lord, we still laugh about that now today. And so, um, that's why I would ask Eve, are you happy now? <laughs> I said all that to say this. Are you happy now? Okay, I'm in pain. I'm in misery. Why can't you just listen to God? He said don't eat off that tree. But you listen to the serpent. You just listen. Why? 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 <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. So, that was not a bit. That's not one of my favorite parts of being a woman. Yep. So, um. I don't know. I usually get like this anyway during that time. So I don't think the scolaxin is helping. <laughs> the hangover from that. I don't think this rain is helping. So yeah, it's, it's, it's truly a mess. A mess, mess, mess. But anywho, it is what it is. It's all good. But I'm going to get off of here for now because I really don't have much to talk about just coming on just talking my feelings over about the channel and trying to revamp it and do something a little bit different I know um yeah what I'm gonna do different I heard somebody say that I have no clue probably nothing <laughs> probably nothing different but um just taking a break for a little bit. Just taking a break. Cause I always feel like rush, 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 rush to get this video up. Rush to get more stuff together. Get out for work. Rush to make this video. Rush to get it downloaded. Oh my God, you forgot to download the video at work. Now you gotta do it when you get home. Rush, rush, rush so you can get to bed and get it downloaded. I mean, it's just, it just seems like it's just too much. So I think I'm gonna combine the little things. Do a combination of a little thing. So I don't know. We'll see how it go. We will definitely see how it go because I enjoy making videos. I enjoy reaching out to folks, and I do hope that something I say or something that I do will encourage someone to be a better person, to be live a better lifestyle, to learn how to save money, to um, you know just being encouraging, motivating, all those things. I hope that's what my channel is, and that's what it started out to be. Um, you know, just encouraging and motivation and, um, yeah, so I never really thought my channel would grow as, and it's not like it's grown a whole lot, not like I'm, a, I'm not a mega YouTuber, you guys, um, but you saw how long it took me to get to a thousand subscribers, finally, yeah, so, yeah, so I ain't the hottest item on the ticket thing, not in other folks' eyes, but in my eyes. You know, I am the top of the line, number one. I am the dime. Don't hate me because I am beautiful, okay? All eyes on me when I walk in. Let me sing that. All eyes on me when I walk in. Don't question that this girl's a 10. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Hey, hey, do the pretty girl walk, walk, walk. Do the pretty girl Yes. Okay, not doubting myself, okay? So, I don't want to say, oh, Miss Nelly, don't doubt. I'm not doubting myself, you guys. I'm just talking about, you know, in this, y'all know how it is on social media. It's like, if you're hot, you're hot. And if you're not, you're not, okay? So, yeah. But anyway, I just want to revamp it. I want to do something new. I want to refresh it. You know, that's all I want to do. But I got to get it together. I got to take time. I got to slow down. I got to slow down. I'm doing too much. So, yeah. So that's what I'm going to do is try to slow down, revamp, get my channel together, 
and so that I can make better videos, better quality videos, things that are interesting, that will interest people to come. My content is not going to change, but I want to make my channel attractive so people will want to come. You know, if something is plain and boring, a lot of times people don't want to come, but if you make it attractive, what they say, they will come, okay? So yeah, that's what I want to do, is just trying to make my channel a little bit more attractive. Yeah. So anyway, so they'll see the content because I think I have good content. I don't think my content is boring. Now some mornings when I'm not talking about anything, yeah, I'm like, okay, Miss Natalie, you could have saved that one. But I feel like there's something that I want to say. I want to reach out to folks. I want someone um, who feel like there's no hope for you that you can make it. And I want you to know that you can live a prosperous life. You can you can have fun living a Christian salvation life. You don't it doesn't have to be boring, it don't have to be all fuddy dud. You can laugh, you can joke, you can have fun. You know, I want someone to know that, you know, that I just want you to know that you are blessed beyond measure. So anyway, I'm gonna get off here for now. But as always do what? Remember to give God some praise, give him some thanks for waking up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you another chance to get it right. It's always a blessing to get it right. Bye. See you guys later.